Okay, well, the Paraline, that sort of, that ties into uh, what we were talking about before. Um, when I said that uh, the wavefront progresses down a horn or across a frat, flat baffle until it's large enough to support itself and it can radiate freely and not continue to expand, that's the point you have uh, pattern control. Okay, well, let's say you had a, a bunch of little tiny sources and you put them close together. Uh, the idea is that they combine into one new source. Well, they do sort of do that by something called Huygens construction, but they also radiate independently. The sound that radiates, let's say, to the right and left doesn't combine with the sound from the source next to it. Um, and so what you get is a partial combining at, at a distance. So the paraline is a, is a different approach. The idea there is uh, to let the sound expand enough till it has the wave front propagation uh, where, it, uh, where it's not a bunch of little sources independently radiating. And then the idea is to adjust the path length uh, of, of the various parts of that so that you have a, a different uh, wavefront curvature than what you'd start out with based on the distance and the radius of the propagation. And you do that by adjusting the path length uh, of, of the sound. In this view, you're looking at the source. That's where the sound comes out. And the sound is uh, trapped between two layers of uh, metal, let's say. Say here's the driver here. And the sound goes in and radiates up and down through this gap. And what you're actually looking at is uh, a radial expansion. It goes every direction. And this is between two gaps that are fairly small, let's say a quarter of an inch. So uh, the sound radiates uh, away from this at the speed of sound in all directions equally. And that isn't quite what we need yet. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to put a slot that's shaped like this. And this, on the outside, this is a boundary. So the sound actually reaches out and reaches that slot and then wraps around uh, into the uh, drawing board. Okay, so what, what can you tell from this so far? Well, what we have here is the distance from here is half the distance it is from here. So that's a geometry or a relationship you have to keep in mind. So on the side view we'll say this is a thin metal plate and then we continue this around. So the sound that goes up, wraps around this way, and the sound that reaches the side does the same thing in this plane, except because this is a different distance, in fact this is distance A is half of B, what happens on the outside of this is you have a draw it over here. You have an exit slot. So the sound that came up from here actually comes out right there. And behind that we have this shape. And the sound that came out here 
comes up from the gap over here and then has to travel all this distance again to get to that center slot. So the, this sound went up and came out directly. This sound had to wrap around the end and come back here. These two path links are identical then. So, <clears throat> So if the sound were radiating based on its radius, it would have an arc curvature like that. Because what you've done is forced it to have the same path length at this end as it is in the middle, this curvature is gone. What you have is a straight line. So what comes out of the slot is a plane wave, or part of one. and. This, that's the basic idea behind the paraline. A couple other little things you can do. Uh, this distance here, you can make uh, less than that, so that produces a curved wavefront on the exit, or you can make it a little bigger, that makes a converging wavefront at the exit. The uh, SBH speakers that we have uh, do one more thing. In that, we offset the location of the center point a little bit. And what happens then, instead of sound rating out as a plane wave in the uh, flat front case, you actually make sound that radiates on an angle off of. And in the SBH speaker, uh, the two in the center are a little bit kinked up and down and the two on the ends are more and the, the 10 is even there's even more of those but that's the idea behind that <clears throat>